Hi, hello everyone. In today's session, I'm going to talk about a toolkit called as Lazy Text Predict Classification. Now, here, if you, are, if you want to do a text classification and you are very new to machine learning or deep learning, okay, and you know you have seen many models that is available for text classification. Now, you have a confusion which model to use for your data set. In that case, you can use this toolkit. This toolkit will guide you in selecting the model. Okay, so let's go into the uh, session now. What is text classification? Text classification is just classifying your um, uh, sentence into any one of the class. Maybe it is a classification of a mail or uh, uh, maybe a tweet, whether it is a positive or negative tweet, or tweet or whether uh, classifying a customer review it can be of anything okay suppose you have a data set a text data set and you want to do classification the first question that comes in your mind is which model should I use you have many machine learning models and you also have many deep learning models for text classification which one to use for my data set that is what the first question that comes in your mind and you are very a beginner so you should be an expert uh, in selecting the model right and you want to fine-tune your model to get the best accuracy there are a lot of models so which one you will select from where to start whether we start with a machine learning model or whether to start with a deep learning model there con comes a confusion now this um, toolkit which you are going to uh, discuss today will help you to compare the performance of different models with few lines of code just you have to add a very few lines of code which will help you um, to compare the performance of different models. So this toolkit actually have used uh, some deep learning algorithms uh, like transformers and it also used some uh, machine learning models and it will help you to show the uh, accuracies. Okay, so let's directly go into uh, the coding part to sh uh, I will just show you how to use this uh, toolkit in your data set. So here if you see um, for the demo purpose, I have used uh, the Sarcasm data set, which is available in Kaggle. So this is about uh, news headlines. Uh, I think we all know what is Sarcasm. So it's a positive statement, but it delivers a negative meaning about a person or anything else. Okay, so that is Sarcasm data set. So here we have the Sarcasm data set. So you can see there are three columns. You can see the information of the data set here. It has three columns. The first column will be the article link. The second column is a headline, which is actually the uh, text. Okay, so we have to classify this text, whether it is sarcastic or not. Okay, so the last column that is, is sarcastic is a label column, which has two classes, zero and one. Zero is uh, not sarcastic and one is sarcastic. Okay, so this is a data set we have used. I will give the link of this data set in my uh, description box. You can also uh, work with this data set now uh, this is my data set now uh, here you, I'm plotting the uh, uh, sarcastic column so here you can see in the graph we have this many instance uh, which is non sarcastic and this many instance which is sarcastic so by plotting you can find out whether your data set is balanced or unbalanced uh, now uh, here I'm just visualizing my data set okay so now I'm using a uh, word cloud uh, visualization technique uh, to see which words are uh, uh, most frequently appearing in my data set so I have taken the sarcastic column so here you can see uh, I have taken the uh, uh, column which has the value uh, sarcastic one so first I'm plotting the popular words available in the sarcastic class so here you can see these are the popular words uh, you see in the sarcastic uh, class i also have uh, plotted the uh, more frequent word appear in non-sarcastic column also so here you can just see what are the words which are frequently coming in your data set uh, now we finished exploring our data set the next uh, thing we have to do is we have to use this uh, lazy text predict toolkit uh, to compare the accuracies between different models so now here if you see the first thing you have to do is you have to install this toolkit pip install lazy text predict 
um, many packages will be installed. Actually, it took a long time uh, to produce a result. That's why I could not show you the uh, uh, results online. Um, now here you see you have to install this uh, uh, toolkit and then your headlines will be your uh, input feature. For example, here if you see uh, this column headline. Yeah, this column headline is your uh, input feature and your label or your class is, is sarcastic. So this will be your X and this will be your Y. So here you can see X is this and Y is this. And then you have to divide your data set into training and testing data set. Then we have to import basic classification from lazy text predict basic classification and you have to create instance for LPT. So this will be your X and this will be your Y and you have to train for all the models. Now here you have to call um, a run method with the epochs file. So I have used very less number of epochs because it took a lot of time to produce a result. So here you can see when you run this, you can see a lot of models uh, are run and then the models will be automatically saved here. I think the data is lost okay so you can see the models are automatically saved here and then finally the result of lazy text predict will be like this so here you can see the metrics so you can see five algorithms are used the first three are deep learning Brett based and cased uh, Albert based V2 Roberta based Okay, the next one are uh, machine learning, uh, the next two are machine learning models. So you can see the accuracy. So you can see machine learning models are having very less accuracy when compared to the deep learning models. So if you have a data set and if you are confused which model to select, whether to go with machine learning model or deep learning model, now this one will give you an answer for your question. So from this you understood deep learning models gives you better results when compared to machine learning models and you can see which model is uh, top performing brett model is top performing so you can start fine tuning your model now this is semi automatic because you're not able to modify any parameters of the model so you cannot fine tune your model just you are going to implement that model and find the accuracy once you find the accuracy you select the top uh, models which has best accuracy and then you are going to fine tune your models based on your uh, data set. Now here in this data set, I have not done any uh, pre-processing techniques. Um, without doing any pre-processing or without changing any um, optimization parameters, I just ran this model to just find out which model will be best suitable for my data set. Okay, so here you understood um, which model will be best for your data set. Now you can uh, fine tune your model based uh, on your data set uh, hope it is clear for you and uh, this model will be uh, very much uh, uh, useful for the basic learners uh, to understand uh, which model to work with further thank you for listening if you have any uh, questions uh, let me ask in the comment section thank you very much